something I've been wanting to do for a long time is uh, invest in some help. So with the new house, I decided to get um, an assistant. And uh, I figured you guys could meet him right here. Mark's uh, YouTube channel, please hold. Uh, hey guys. Troy Savon? Yes, oh my gosh. Yes, we would love to have you on. We're again, booked for a while. Sean Mendez, oh my gosh, yeah. No, Mark definitely doesn't want to meet you. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> bye. No, dude, get get here. No. Hey Sean, what are you wearing, baby? I bought your $70 t-shirt. <laughs> what a <the> f <laughs> <laughs> That's our last night in the apartment. We move into the, the house tomorrow. You guys just figuring things out together. Thanks for coming to see me. Oh my God. <laughs> Let's go, come on, come on. I don't know where you guys live, but it is a scorcher right now. You walk outside and you're like, I need a new change of underwear. I gotta show you guys this house right here. It's being built, it looks like a flipping school. It's so big. Look at that thing. How many kids you having? Too many kids, okay? Uh, I moved to a city just north of Indianapolis called Carmel, Carmel, some would say. I wouldn't say, but some would. And it's chilling, baby. 48 hours I've been here. And I'm pretty fucking peaceful. Unbothered, balanced, grounded. Yeah. Yeah, he's grounded, folks. Feels like every year I post one of these videos. New apartment tour, new house tour. It's like, bro, why do you move so much? What are you running from, huh? Uh, I'm running from my problems. I, I signed a one-year lease, and usually at that point, I just want to change, you know? I want like a fresh scenery, I want a new little part of town, and uh, all of those things are true for, for why I moved, but I reached a point where I was like waking up in like a shitty mood, and I was like trying to evaluate, okay, why is this, why is this happening? And I narrowed it down to my living situation. I was living in a place that was just like causing me just to be so uneasy. So yeah, we landed on a house. Uh, I'm only renting this house, but I was just so eager <laughs> to get out of the apartments. I was like, let's just go, baby. Let's get her done. Pretty fucking stoked, bro. Johnny was wailing on it pretty good. You could hear him go by. And Johnny's like waving his arms as he goes by the dock, you know? And I guess I can show you guys where I used to live. So this is Broad Ripple. Here's an ice cream shop, my little succulents. Yeah, it's been a good little, uh, it's been a great apartment. Ready for um, a quiet neighborhood. Shout out to the guys I hired to help me move, man. They were awesome. Like, good energy. I know like moving is just like something no one wants to do. Obviously, it's their job, but um, it's just, I don't know, coming with a good attitude and like good vibes just made the day so much easier. One of them was a little bit like, oh, hi there, Mr. Steely blue eyed baseball looking bro. Kinda cute. Look what we have in the front seat. The most important things, tea, protein, and the speakers. At the Lake Cottage, we have this exact same refrigerator, and normally this drawer right here, this like little mini drawer, normally this is full of uh, my dad's beer, uh, and I have to like fight for room for when I come up and put my LaCroix in it. But not anymore. Not anymore, Papa Miller. Mm, get your own freaking drawer, dude. When you come to my house, you're gonna have to fight for beer space. So, little, little turntables. <laughs> What's up, gorgeous flowers? How are you? Oh, yeah. 
You want Starburst? You want Sour Patch? Ryan and Janelle are gonna move up here soon too, so. We're gonna be one yeah. happy Carmel family. <laughs> it's funny, Sam's up here yeah. now, you guys are up here. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, yeah. Dying is moving. I, when I showed him the area, oh, yeah. he was looking around, he's like, I wonder if I can get a job up here. These are my old apartment buddies. We met, I met Ryan in the in the gym <laughs> of our apartment. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. ma'am. Oh my, my I'm gonna cut you off. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> The one weird thing about Carmel is they have like these statues placed throughout the town. A little creepy. Just a little bit. Just a little creepy. We're trying out a new coffee shop this morning called Indie Coffee Roasters. It's supposedly the cool place to go. So pumped to be here. Uh, had the chillest day ever here at at this house. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm literally vlogging right now. How we doing? Did you, oh, oh, good. Did you text me? You're, you're coming over? No, I just saw your, your apartment. And I was oh. in the neighborhood. Hell yeah, dude. What's up? Oh shit, bro. No, you can eat. Can I vlog this though? Or... Jeez, bro. Bringing over a greasy slice into a vegetarian's house. Mr. Tree just came down across the road, leaving us just enough space to sneak around. Thank you. Yeah, it's recording my bowl. Nice. Can you, uh, you're on spoon duty. Spangins. Bad. Ooh. Bad. Ooh, okay. Donnie and I have been sitting here for the last two hours eating cowboy caviar. Well, it makes sense because I've grown out my mustache to be a cowboy. Oh, so, ooh. Well, less, you know? Two guys just figuring things out together. Yep. Dude, I worked out today for the first time in like two weeks. Nice. It's hard. Oh, guarantee. I'd be your yeah. favorite sort of model, dude. Yeah, I did leggies too. Oh, you're really sore. Oh, wrong. yeah. Ha! Every time I take a break from working out and I come back, I'm like, I punished myself for doing that. And I also haven't been working out that much recently, so I'm with you, man. See, so basically we got together today to bulk. To bulk mm -hmm. with cowboy caviar. Yeah. Is that what it's called? Sorry, you said it like it four is. times. Yeah, I did say it four <laughs> times, but <laughs> it is cowboy caviar. Yeah. I've met two people over the course of the last few months that have had burns in their hands saying it was from making margaritas and using limes and then going out into the sun. Don't do that. This is a PSA, guys. Yeah. Make margaritas with strawberries. Ooh, strawberry margaritas. Yeah. Probably still probably needs still lime, still supposed to put lime eh, in there. Probably a little bit Maybe of lime. you just get lime juice and don't use your hands. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're sticking your hands in the margaritas? Like, what are we doing? Like, <laughs> that would be the worst thing, though. Like, you make margaritas, yeah. you're having a couple spicy margs, yeah. you're out on the boats, yeah. and then you're like, oh, man, I'm, my hands are kind of hot. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. got your hands hot? <laughs> yeah. Or if you're like, really bad luck and you're like bro i'm so hot oh margarita on the <laughs> face and it's like did you get back and just like destroyed oh god god yeah hey we're teaching people next time on mark and donnie's lessons yeah i was trying to get a video of you taking pictures of flowers <laughs> my mom's taking pictures of the flowers here like we're in uh arizona somewhere or something yeah, look at these bugs. what are those things would you just look at it would you just look at this just look at this. Will you look at this? <laughs> they don't have these where I live. We'll get up on stage. You can just try it there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright dudes, you know what time it is. It's tour time. Now I love watching house tours and now that I live in a house, uh, I'm going to use the trick that they use is Turn on every single light in the house uh, because it's just, the tour is better that way, right? Lighting is so key. All right, so let's just start at the front door and pretend that you just walked in the house. Boom, 
Hello, how you doing? You're in my living room right now. I hung the TV a couple days ago. They renovated this house a couple years ago and part of the renovation was, I'm guessing this fireplace because this shit is not stock with the 1959 build of this house. Now we're onto the kitchen, the old kitcheroonie. Charging station, uh, walk-in pantry. We might as well just walk in there. We have our tools hanging out, air fryer and some other shit. And then we have the stove, which is gas, rad. First time I actually have a gas stove in my house, which is very fun to cook with. And also don't forget, Dr. Seuss's most famous line. As far as like filming goes, this is a kitchen that definitely uh, is conducive to filming. We have window, 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 uh, some cool lights. Just off the kitchen is the dining room. And uh, I've pretty much spent all of my time in this room working so far as I get my desk organized. All right, let's make our way back to the bedrooms, folks. Hey, yeah. Oh yeah, I put up James Dean right here. And then I put up uh, old Edward Hopper. Hi, gorgeous. Were you in your room? Yeah, we're gonna go to Olive's room first. Go show him your room in there. This is the smallest bedroom in the house. Miss Olive gets to claim this. And yeah, I'm just using it as storage at the moment. My mom came in town last night to help me get organized. And she said, this little nook right here, she had one in her house. And I think she said they put a phone here, like a landline. And if you had a phone call, you would just like stand here and have a phone call. So that's cool. That would suck actually, it's not cool. <laughs> this is the guest bathroom. And I put all my fake plants in here because there's no window in here and fake plants don't need light. Kind of digging my office so far, mostly because this is a corner room. So you have like two windows, which is kind of cool. The desk I've had for many years, gonna throw those little cutie pies up on the wall and all of my camera gear is in here. Peekaboo, how you doing? Leaving the office and walking across the hallway to what used to be the primary bedroom. And back through that door, everything beyond this door frame is an addition that the previous owners uh, added onto the house. So this room here, I don't really know what I'm gonna do with. I think I'm just gonna use it for um, weights and if I wanna do some yoga here, which I don't really do yoga, but it just sounds cool to say you have a yoga room. And off of this room is the laundry room, which I imagine the people were like, hey, let's use the water hookup from the previous primary bedroom bathroom and use it for washer and dryer. Just thinking about it, you know? <sighs> Engineer. Engineer slash YouTuber slash house tour provider. All right, baby. Now we're in the bedroom and I'm gonna try to not shoot out my windows. There you go. Medical grade air purifier. Don't make fun of me. And then uh, bathroom, shower, water closet. Closet in this bedroom is a little ridiculous, but uh, yeah, let me show, show you guys. Welcome to Marky Mark's closet. All right, that's the tour. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any ideas for this room, the quote unquote yoga room, let me know. I had an idea of like putting a, um, a projection screen in there, like having like a little mini movie theater, but I don't know, that sounds kind of silly, but I like silly shit. If you wanna watch these videos early, they're on Patreon. I post every YouTube video on Patreon like a week early. I also have over like a hundred posts up there extra videos that you guys have never seen if you've never joined Patreon before. I have a podcast I host called the Chill Pants Podcast. I also offer one-on-one -on -one sessions. So if you wanna to speak to me uh, via Zoom call, we can talk about whatever's on your mind. If you're seeking advice, I can try my best to help you in that. And yeah, I've been doing that for the past year and it's been such an amazing, rewarding experience. So that link is gonna be below. All right guys, I'll let you go. Thanks for watching, I love you. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like and I'll see you soon. Love you, see ya, bye. I'm sorry, he's booked for the next few months. Do choice of on. Choice of on? <laughs> <laughs> that should be good. If anybody's gonna be anybody's assistant, I'm gonna be your assistant. <laughs> Let's be real.